Hello, I'm Richard Bertinet, and welcome to the Gosney Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my famous Far Breton. You find it all over Brittany. It's always through the year, every day of the week. There's no good or bad time to eat Far Breton. It's delicious, and I'm sure you'll love it too. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is to soak our prune into dark navy rum. I've had some already drained and ready to go, but it's basically the simplest recipe in the world. A lot of prunes, a lot of rum, and that's all. Can't be harder than that. Ideally, leave them overnight, three, four days. You can keep them for months, and they are so delicious. When you've done that, we're going to get a big dish. You can use a smaller size dish, any dish you want, and then put some butter on the bottom, like so. There you go. And this, we put this in the oven to warm up. Now for the batter, we're going to use four large eggs. Beautiful eggs. Cast the sugar and just beat it up gently until all the sugar is really well incorporated. And then we put the flour. And a small pinch of salt. Beautiful. The salt will bring the flavor of the eggs and the milk. So that's well mixed together. I'm going to put our milk now. So a bit to start with and slowly add the rest. Well, that's ready. So the butter just starts to brown a little bit. The dish is really hot. I'm going to scatter our prunes on the bottom of the dish. You can hear it sizzling. I can smell the rum. And then we pour the batter over the top. So one trick to stop your everything splatting everywhere is if you pour the mixture over a spoon. And that's going to take about 45 minutes in the oven. Put the dough on it. So what I've done there is to let the flame go down. So if you get the flame, it will caramelize the top too quickly. So the good thing with using a bit of wood in your oven is you get a beautiful flavor and it really enhances the flavor of the rum and the prunes all together. With the dome, it just uh, gives that little je ne sais quoi with it. So what the big trays back in, I make some earlier in the little um, earthenware, which is a traditional dish in Brittany we use for the Far Breton. I got a very fond memory from my childhood where my mum used to make a, a big one every once a week. She used to have this, a big jar of prunes with the rum into it. I was about 10. I found a jar, I had one prune, two prune, I had about 10 prune. I was completely drunk by it. <laughs> so, uh, but they were delicious, I still love them. And you can see I got a bit of flame back. I just put a tiny little uh, kindling in there just to give it a bit of a burst into that. But now, nice and set. So to make sure it's back properly, if you dip your knife inside, if it's come out clean, then you know it's done. There you go. You can see, beautifully set, smell incredible. This needs to cool down now, leave it cool down for two or three hours at least. The texture is it's kind of a mix between creme caramel, a bit like a creme brulee and a flan. And it's all those different textures inside. It's very unique. Okay, the best part now is um, we're going to try it. If you can see the crew there, they're like seagull. They're all waiting to try as well. Oh, look at this. Glenn, you want to try some? Yes, please. Do you know the recipe now, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you know what he means as well? It's prunes and booze. Prunes and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to feed me? Yeah. Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. God. <laughs> I think it adds to it being hand-fed. <laughs> After that bon share from Glenn, if you want um, this recipe or any of my recipe, go on gozli.com and then keep baking.